Hello, everybody. Welcome to the December 2019 webinar series of how to add, verify your bank account in bill.com. My name is Megan and I am a product trainer here at bill.com. I am glad you're here today. We are going to spend the next 20 to 30 minutes reviewing how to add and verify your bank account in bill.com. Our objectives for the session are to navigate the two ways to add and verify your bank account and confirm the setup of your bank account. This demonstration is being conducted by a bank authorized administrator and depending on what type of permissions or role you have within bill.com, you may or may not see everything in the demonstration in your account. Adding a bank account in bill.com is simple. Let's take a look at the two ways you can add and verify your bank account. Begin by clicking settings in the top right hand corner of the screen. Under your company, click bank account. Choose set up new bank in the top right hand corner. Here you will want to choose the way you are going to add your bank account. We have two options, signing into online banking and entering bank account information manually. Signing into online banking is the recommended method to verify your account instantly. We will cover signing into online banking first. To verify your identity, you are going to need to enter the required information such as name and home address. Keep in mind this step verifies your identity. You must use your personal information and not the business information. Whether you choose instant or manual verification of your bank, you are always required to verify the bank account. The identity verification questions are pulled from public records. If a question does not pertain to you, select that option when answering. After you are finished, click continue in the top right hand corner. Bill.com uses Plaid to link your bank. Once you have the Plaid screen populate, click continue. Choose your bank from the list of options or use the search function to find your bank. Use your credentials to log into online banking. If your bank is not available to link instantly, you can still link manually, which we will cover next in our presentation. Any accounts linked to your login are going to populate. Choose the checkbox next to the account or accounts you wish to use in bill.com. Once an account is selected, Choose the account type and enter the account holder name. Click continue. Upon confirmation, click get started. Please note, some customers may have added information on this page. If you are required under additional information, enter in the company owner, the business type and industry and purpose of use. Additionally, a tax ID such as an EIN or SSN is required. Now we are going to cover entering the bank account information manually. If you don't see your bank listed or are unable to log into your online banking, you will want to enter your bank account information manually. 
This is a slide that we previously saw. To verify the identity, you must enter the required information such as home and address. And as a reminder, this step verifies your identity, so you must use your personal information and not the business information. We just covered this in an earlier slide. This is the identity verification questions. If they don't pertain to you, you will want to select that option when answering. You will want to enter in the required information such as the bank account holder's name, the account type, and bank name. Then enter the routing and account numbers. If you are unsure which is which, check out the pro tip on the right. A test deposit of less than $1 will appear in your bank account within one to two business days. Enter that amount under Settings, Bank Account, Verify Bank. Once the test deposit has been verified, you are ready to start transacting using Bill.com. Please note, if you add multiple accounts, it will take 24 to 48 hours for the test transaction to hit your bank account. And in the interim, you will not be sure which test deposit was the first or last. As a best practice, it is better to enter the bank account once and wait the full 48 hours to receive the test transaction and then log into bill.com and enter that amount. Once you have received your test transaction and you log in, you can go to your bank account. You can click on verify account. You will enter the test transaction. You will click verify and we can see that the bank account has been verified and you are all set. You are ready to start using the bank account in bill.com to make and receive payments. If you have multiple bank accounts in bill.com, you must set the new bank account as the default to pay and or get paid. Under your bank account page, click on the bank account number and choose make primary. Once you make primary for pay and get paid, you are ready to start using the bank account to make and receive payments. This concludes our webinar for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you have learned some valuable information about how to add, verify your bank account in bill.com.